This is Eyewitness News, now at 4. We are learning more information today about how Vice President Mike Pence had to flee to safety during the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Four years after a deadly explosion at a day spa, the man whose ex-girlfriend died in that blast is standing trial. And we may soon see the indoor mask mandate return to L.A. County. We'll tell you what would trigger that decision. Thanks so much for joining us. You're watching Eyewitness News at 4 on ABC7, Hulu Live, and wherever you stream. I'm Ellen Leva. I'm Mark Brown, in for David Ono. On Capitol Hill, a last-ditch effort by former President Donald Trump to stay in office another four years at the center of testimony on day three of the January 6th televised hearings. Eyewitness News reporter Carlos Granda joins us now with new details on how Trump's Vice President Mike Pence had to flee to safety when an angry mob stormed the Capitol. Well, that's right. Former Vice President Mike Pence was the central focus for the House Committee investigating the January 6th siege on the U.S. Capitol. Committee members say Donald Trump's campaign against Pence had a direct influence on the violence. And they say when the rioters actually entered the Capitol, they came within 40 feet of the Vice President. 